This is a tech deck, and this is a fingerboard. And today, I'll be upgrading a tech deck to a fingerboard. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm basically doing exactly what it sounds like I am doing. I'm upgrading a tech deck. So I have made numerous videos in the past comparing the differences between a fingerboard and a tech deck, but the main differences are just the quality of material used to build the different boards. The tech deck is made out of plastic, whereas the proper fingerboard is made out of wood. The tech deck wheels are made out of plastic and don't have any bearings, whereas the fingerboard wheels are made out of urethane and have bearings inside. The tech deck trucks have hard plastic bushings inside, whereas these trucks have rubber bushings inside, so there's tons of differences. So even though I've made a ton of YouTube videos with fingerboard and with tech decks, I've never really upgraded an actual tech deck before, so I'm excited for it today because I get to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is upgrade the grip tape on a tech deck. So about this time last year, I took this tech deck and put just sandpaper on it, and this is crazy grippy, but I still wouldn't say it's as good as foam grip tape, so we are going to put foam grip tape on. This is just like so rough at all almost hurts your fingers after long use, so you kind of don't really want that. That came off way easier than I thought it would. Because I did this about a year ago, I used rubber cement, and it's now stuck on the board, and it's hard. That had such a strange texture to it. That's not even going to come off. So we took the grip tape off of our tech deck deck. So now let's put the foam grip tape on. And I'm just realizing now, I've never put foam grip tape on a tech deck before. So once we're done, this is honestly gonna feel pretty good. I don't know where my little file is to trim the grip tape, so I'll be using sandpaper. <laughs> Not quite ideal, but it definitely does work. Okay, considering that I was using sandpaper and this is a tech deck, that is one clean grip job. There is just one little spot I need to fix. There we go. So now we need to make the holes in the grip tape to put the trucks in. And also speaking of trucks, I will be using these trucks that I made in another video. And I took the trucks that came with this tech deck. So these are technically still tech deck trucks, but I shaped these trucks into pro fingerboard shaped trucks. So these have like almost the same shape as dynamic trucks and feel super awesome. So I'll be using these. Also, when I made these trucks, I put a poll on Instagram asking you guys what type of trucks these were. And I had an option of like a bunch of different types of trucks, like China trucks, tech deck trucks, dynamics, all of that. And most of you guys actually thought these were dynamic trucks. So if you guys thought these were dynamics, then that means they must be good.
So we now have the trucks on the deck and this is starting to look pretty cool. We now have the trucks on the deck and the bushings that are on these trucks right now are my DIY homemade bushings and I honestly love these bushings so much that I'm actually gonna keep them on. So now all that's left is really just to put the wheels on. On these trucks, I'm using lock nuts just because they are better. But on this side, I don't have enough lock nuts to use it on this side, so I'm just using the stock tech deck nuts. For this build, I am just gonna steal the wheels off my current setup and put them on here, just because these are eel pills and I like them, so I'll put them on here. I'm also gonna take two lock nuts from this setup and put it on the tech deck setup. So now, out with the old, in with the new. Also, I probably should have said this right when I started, but this is one of those tech decks that have the rubber bushings from the start. So this deck is a bit wider, a little bit longer, and altogether just a better deck. So this is now honestly a pretty decent fingerboard. But the only question, does it pass the kickflip test? That was pretty good, honestly. Impossible, 360 flip. This board is actually like really good. I did a laser flip, but I landed like this. Again. So this board is not bad in any way. Like this is legit actually pretty good. And the most expensive part of this whole build are just the wheels and you don't even need to put super good wheels on it. The foam grip tape is definitely what makes this board actually pretty decent. And these trucks don't even feel like tech deck trucks at all. They feel pretty much as good as my current setup unless this is my new current setup. <laughs> Just the way that these ones turn just feels a little bit different and I really like how they feel. So maybe before you look at getting yourself some brand new trucks, maybe just make your own. You can go check out that other video where I turn tech deck trucks into fingerboard trucks. So go check that out if you're interested. Also, if you've been keeping an eye on the website, you have realized stuff is flying off the shelf. And I am aware of that because I have to make every single board and ship out every single thing that I sell. So I am aware that everything is selling out on my website, but I do have a new stock that I'm working on right now for November and it's pretty epic. There's gonna be a brand new board that's not just like the Walnut board or the Signature Gryption board, it's pretty cool. So stick around for that. So that'll drop in probably about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So stick around for that so that you can shop around on the website. Also join my Discord down in the description down below you know where it is because I'm doing kind of a giveaway in a way. You can get more details over on Discord, but basically what I'm going to do is if you have a super horrible fingerboard setup, the wheels are falling apart, 
the grip tape is gone. If you have a fingerboard like that, then I have a deal for you. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ship one of your fingerboards to me and I'm going to take some of my parts and I'm going to upgrade your fingerboard and then send it back to you. So go submit those photos of what your fingerboard looks like and then I might get your fingerboard, upgrade it and send it back to you. So thank you so much for watching. We are so close to 16,000 subscribers. If you could please hit the subscribe button over there to help out. Two more videos down there. All my social medias are in the description down below. And I will see you in my next video.